What's up you guys? Today I'm going to show you a better way on how to blow dry your client's hair all using the new T360 by Smooth Air. Personally, I tried to find a hair dryer that was ergonomically designed for a hairstylist to blow dry their client's hair comfortably. And to be honest, I really haven't found one. So I had a chance to try out the new T360 tool and it made a huge difference on how my shoulder and body felt right after doing my client's hair. So today I'm going to share with you my top five blow drying tips all while using the new T360 by Smooth Air. So first things first, before getting into my top five tips, I do want to take a chance to explain exactly what the T360 product is. So what's really cool about it is it does fit on to any dryer. So here at home, I actually have my Babyliss Pro, but at the salon, I have many different dryers. For example, a T3 blow dryer, which has a very wide nozzle. And then I have something a little bit more narrower, like the Solano. So you don't ever have to worry about an attachment not fitting your blow dryer. What's really great is it has this nice rubbery end to it, so it's very stretchable. And if you do have a wider nozzle like the T3, you can easily bend the rubber back and then fold it right on over onto the nozzle. You also may be wondering if this product is going to heat up a little too much. So I definitely put it to the test because I love blow drying on high heat, especially with curly hair. I was able to turn the nozzle any which way at any given time and not actually burn off my fingers. So if you're a hairstylist and maybe your nozzle has flown off of your blow dryer before and then you go to pick it up to try to put it back on, you know that they are extremely hot. So again, this nozzle on the T360 has some nice ridges, so it is warm, but it's definitely not hot and I never at any time feared that I was gonna singe off my fingers, which is really, really cool. Some other features of the T360 is that it turns 360 degrees. The whole idea behind this nozzle is that it's going to change the direction of the airflow. For example, you might be holding the blow dryer way above your head, putting lots of pressure onto your shoulder. Being a hairstylist and constantly blow drying all day long, lifting up your arms and lifting up your shoulders, in addition to the weight of the blow dryer and the weight of your arm, it actually can be pretty damaging to your rotator cuff. So me, for example, I have definitely suffered from that injury before, which put me out of work for about two weeks, and I had to go get muscle relaxers. So having a tool like this in the salon is definitely a game changer, and it's definitely gonna help you blow dry your client's hair a little bit more comfortably, especially for those of us that have been doing hair for many, many years. And what's great for you newbies out there is that you can prevent injury by using a tool like this. All right, so let's get started on my top five tips to blow drying your client's hair. So step one is after you have properly shampooed and conditioned your client's hair, I love personally to use mousse to blow out. So I love mousse so much. I love it on fine hair. I love it on thick hair. I love it on curly hair. I love it really on all hair types. And mousse is really a great product to use, mostly because it's gonna give you a very nice hold and a lasting hold of that. And if your clients are anything like me, I like doing my hair as little as possible. So you can see here on my client carry, I use a very generous amount of mousse. So one cool fact about mousse is that only 3% is active ingredient and the rest of it is all air and water. So feel free to use a generous amount of it, especially if you're gonna do a nice voluminous blowout. I specifically also use mousse on Carrie, mostly because she has naturally curly hair and I needed something to help pull and stretch out that curl as I was blow drying. All right, so tip number two. Definitely start out by taking away most of the moisture out of your client's hair. This is gonna make the blow dry go by so much more quickly and I did a lot of over direction utilizing a brush to really help smooth out those curls. So not only am I smoothing out some of the curls at her root area, but I'm also starting to dry most of her hair so I don't have to put in too much work. So at any given moment, while I'm blow drying the roots, I can hold my blow dryer just like this and I can change the direction of the airflow. I never have to actually lift or move my arm. So you really just wanna work section by section, getting the roots dry and just kind of leaving the mids and ends kind of damp. 
So that'll definitely take you on to your third step. So tip number three, make sure you use nice and clean sections when doing a blowout. So I really love using claw clips, especially with somebody like Carrie, because she has a ton of hair and that's really gonna help hold the hair in place and keep nice clean sections so you're not grabbing or snagging hair from your previous section. And work in sections that are no wider than about three to four inches. And working in the back from the occipital up, I then went ahead and created more subsections, continuing to work my way up through the hair. Again, I was able to use a T360 to blow out her curls. It was really imperative that I had tension with my left hand that I use my brush in, and I was able to change the direction of the airflow with my blow dryer and the T360 nozzle. The most important thing that you want to remember when you're blow drying or trying to smooth hair out is that you want to make sure that the airflow is going in the direction of the cuticle. So our cuticle is always facing down, just like a scales on a snake. So we never want to blow dry it in the opposite direction because that's going to create vertis. So you want to make sure that you take your T360 and just change the nozzle and point it downwards going in the direction of the cuticle. Now for me, when I'm doing really thick coarse hair that is super curly, I actually like to smooth on both sides of my sections. So you can actually see here that I've smoothed the top part with my brush and dryer and then I just simply change the direction of how I was holding my brush and pointing the airflow in a completely different direction on the underside of the section. A little extra tip is that when you're working towards the sides and the top, you really want to make sure you're over directing the hair as much as possible, that way she can have a very voluminous look. So with Carrie, her hair is pretty much all one length, so any little bit is going to help because the weight of her hair is definitely going to pull down at her roots. I continue to dry her hair in sections working from the bottom up. And this brings me to tip number four. What I really love to do is make sure that right after I've heated up the hair and I've dried it, I've smoothed it, and now I wanna get as much bounce and movement out of my blowout as possible. I love rolling up the hair, just like you would if you were to put it in curlers, really, and then take a duckbill clip and or pin curl clips and then just clip it right in. What that's gonna do is help cool and set the curls right into place, giving you a nice, long-lasting style. So now, tip number five. So this is really, really important. So as soon as you're done clipping all of your curls into place and you let your client's hair cool for just a moment, I really like setting it with actually a hairspray. So hairspray is so underrated. I feel like more and more people aren't using hairspray anymore, and hairspray definitely helps Again, hold that shape. And if you are anti-hairspray, that's okay. You don't have to use any because if you smooth out the hair properly and you've pinned it into place and you've let it cool properly at least for five, 10 minutes, you're gonna have a really beautiful blowout. After I was able to spray Carrie's hair, I went ahead and took out all of the pins and I brushed out her curls. So that way she could have a really nice, beautiful, combable look. So these are my top five tips for blow drying your client's hair using the T360 by Smooth Air. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys next time.